wish I shouldn't didn't bring this one up. Like if I ever get to that place, like you just have to fight off that thought. There's this thought that comes into your mind like, oh, why did I bring this up? I don't want to do this bit. You can't, but you can't say, you know what? Fuck that bit. Yeah. Because then the audience would be like, what? Yes. Oh, you want bits? Here's a quick bit. Opening speeches, the leader of the free world was caught dozing off. And just goes to show you how tiring it is to be the president. You know who wouldn't sleep during things as president would be Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan would probably be full of energy. He'd probably take an ice bath during the sessions of like whatever the fuck is going on, you know, and take DMT. While making small talk with the Duchess of Cornwall at the COP26 summit, Sleepy Joe produced his own emissions right in front of royalty. Joe Biden apparently broke wind in front of Camilla Parker Bowles. That's got to be the end of his presidency, surely. Yeah, the audio from that fart was probably like... You know, straight from, straight from Joe Biden's asshole. Anyway, it's time to get back from Joe Biden back to the... Back to Joe Rogan. Yes. No, so you just have to never let yourself get to the mindset where you're like, I don't want to do this. You got to remember there, were, there was something, whatever the subject is, there was something about that subject that when you initially started writing a joke about it, it was resonating right. with you. And you were like, what the fuck is this? Right. But what the fuck is up with being bald? J Joe Rogan made me think of it just now, to be honest. Is it going to happen to me? Am I going to go bald? I sure hope not. If you hear it too many times, it's like anything else. You get tired of it. You, it loses its luster. But that's just a mental weakness. You just have to realize, just like get your, your head wrapped around that you can't allow yourself to think that way. And surely this thought originally was valid because that's why you're so excited about it. That's why you wrote a bit about it. The audience doesn't know that you've said it a hundred times over the last year right. or more. I'm not saying it for the second time, I'm saying it for- I'm not saying it for the hundredth time, I'm saying it for the second time. I'm afraid of going bald. That's my truth. It's not really a bit, it's more my truth. If Joe Rogan couldn't avoid it, what chance do I have? They- they just want to hear it. Right. So they want to- they want to hear it from fresh eyes. So you have to put yourself in fresh eyes. Right. You have to be able to do that. And that's the trick. And well, it's not- it's not like you're faking it either. You have to actually- really be thinking about it like you think I don't really I don't want to think about anything thinking is hard thinking is not the kind of thing that I want to do thinking is for bald people about it like you think about it if you want it to work at the best you know like when a bit is really sharp yeah you're on you have to be thinking about it as you're like enthusiastic as it's coming to you as yeah, you, yeah. you gotta be actually engaged right. with each part of it while it's happening somebody help me a bald man is trying to ruin funny things he's trying to make it serious and scary he told me i had to think about stuff i'm done watching i'm done